Hey guys, Jerry Mitchell like here. We're out on the range. I've got six different PCC carbines and uh, we're going to start out with the most conventional styled one. This is the Ruger PC carbine. Uh, I put the conversion block in it so it'll take a Glock magazine which is pretty trick. It's got a peep side. I put a Vortex red dot on it. Give you an idea of the features. The uh, mag release is on the left hand side. It's, I think the bolt release you could put, I mean the bolt handle you can put on either side. Uh, straight blowback takes a Glock mag or the Ruger uh, magazine that they use in their pistol. So one thing trick about it, it's a takedown gun. So if you wanted to, uh, you one of them guys that want to have a takedown feature, it's the only one in the group that is that. So we're, anyway, we're going to do a little bit of a drill. We're going to come up and shoot six rounds on one target and do two on each and then, then shoot a plate rack. I, what I want you to do as an audience is just, just kind of look at the platform that I have in my hand while I'm shooting and kind of get some feedback on the amount of recoil, the extraction, and we'll, this is a, <laughs> I short loaded this magazine, I put 50 rounds in it, so. All right, got a conventional crossbow safety, and on the timer, I'm gonna come up, shoot the target on the left six times, and like most of our uh, shoot fast videos, I haven't trained with it, so I'm just picking them up and shooting them, kind of give you an impression of what they are and, and uh, what they do. Okay, six on the left, here we go. Yeah, wasn't too bad for a cold morning. Just kind of get an idea of what we did. Looked like we averaged about a 15 split. It's got a, this is standard 115, just ball ammo, just cheap, cheapest ammo I could find. Uh, put a nice group on the target. Very quick recoil sensation. So let's go ahead and shoot two on each, left to right, and see what that feels like. Kind of locked the trigger up on that one. And that's one of the things about picking up a gun like this and shooting at different trigger pulls. Uh, let's do that one more time. Left to right. All right, there we go. All right, we, we managed to keep about a 17, 16 split there. Let's see what my ammo count is. We got enough. We're going to go ahead and shoot that plate rack again on the timer and uh, see what it feels like. Not bad, pretty impressive. So we're gonna go ahead and clear it out. Bolt relief on the left, on the left side. And uh, that was the Ruger out of the box. Not too bad, but let's shoot something different. Hey guys, next gun up is a JP Enterprises. This is, this is his nine millimeter PCC gun. Uh, just kind of go over what it is. It's got his compensator on it, his match grade barrel, the cooling fins, a side charge handle on this model. This one has ambidextrous safeties. It has his target trigger, his roller target trigger. It's got an ace stock on it. Forward assist, pretty much uh, JP through and through. I've had this one for a while. I never had a malfunction with it, so I have a little bit of experience with this one. So let's go ahead, take the flag out. We'll shoot the same drill. We're gonna shoot six on the left. And uh, with this standard 115 grain ball ammo with a Glock magazine and uh, see where it lives. Here we go, six on the left. Not too bad, let's go ahead. <laughs> let's go ahead and play left to right, two on each. Here we go. Really nice trigger. Uh, pretty fast on the targets. Uses the Glock magazine, uh, 57 round Glock magazine. Let's go ahead and shoot a plate rack a little bit. This one has his standard silent captured spring system in it. He also makes a, stroke, a short stroke kit, which I have in, <clears throat> in another rifle on the, on the table. So let's go ahead and shoot the plates a little bit. See what that looks like. Yep, the trigger really helps. That's where you see <laughs> good things start to happen here. Conventional magazine release position. All right, that was a JP rifle. Go ahead and close it up. Let's try another one. All right, next firearm up is an MBX. This is their Pro Series. This is MBX all the way through, the upper, the lower, the barrel, the comp, the handguard. Uh, it has a mag well on it. It has an extended magazine release and a, a two position bolt release. Anti-rotating pin system on the trigger, a single sided 
fire control. It's a straight blowback gun. This one comes with a Hogue adjustable buttstock and a Hogue grip. It has an M16 style extractor. It's a straight blowback gun. This one features a tunable buffer system. It comes with different springs or you can get different springs for it. This is the way I got it out of the box. Is there a Seymour sight on it? So I'm just going to shoot it and get a little feel for what it uh, what it does here. So takes the Glock magazines. This is their Glock magazine extensions by the way. It's very popular in the PCC division. So let's go ahead and race it. Target on the left. Six rounds. Here we go. Yep. <laughs> Wasn't too hard to make it sing. Let's take it left to right. Two on each. Here we go. Well, I locked it up. Don't think, boy, just shoot. Here we go. <laughs> oh, I shot so easy, I got the, got a little anxious on the trigger and missed that last one. Let's do it again. <laughs> What's interesting, when you change these platforms, they all have different triggers at them. This is their match trigger. Uh, feels a little different than what I'm accustomed to. It's a nice trigger, I'm just not accustomed to it. Let's go ahead and put it one more time, two on each, left to right. All right, that's a little better. All right, that's pretty easy. Let's take a rack down range. Shoot that plate rack. Here we go, left to right. Ready? <laughs> Nothing to it. Kind of like that recoil I feel on that buffer system. So we're clear. And the MBX rifle. Pretty nice setup. Let's play with something else. All right, next platform up. This is a Smith & Wesson lower with a Stern Defense conversion kit in it. Give you an idea what that looks like. I have it in the, in the, in the lower, but I didn't lock it in, so I'm just gonna hit the mag release and show you what it looks like. So when you get the conversion, it looks like this. It has that mag well on it, and when you properly affix it, there's set screws that will help you attach it more permanently to the lower. The mag release is on the bottom. This is their complete upper assembly, their bolt has an extra large extractor system, it's straight blowback, their barrel, handguard, and uh, muzzle brake. And what I have in, the, in the, uh, the butt here is a JP short stroke silent captured spring system. I kind of like that. I've been playing with it. So the boat does not lock back on the last shot, but it also limits the travel of the boat. So the gun's a little bit snappier. And on, in the lower itself, I have a Mossberg JM Pro competition trigger one I've shot extensively, so I'm more familiar with this trigger group and this particular platform than all the rest of them. Uses the Glock magazines, so let's go ahead and put the magazine in and do some drills. Ah, shoot the target on the left like we did, six rounds, and then take a, take a run with it. All right. I like to cheat on this one and use my brass catcher, so put my bag on. Here we go, six on the left. Yeah, that's the trigger, guys. I'm more familiar with this platform than the rest of them. Pretty easy to get six on it. Let's go two on each, left to right. Yep. Like I said, I've trained with this one extensively, so it's it's like I'm coming home to a to a family friend here. Let's go ahead and run the plate rack. Here we go, plate rack, left to right. Yep. So mag release is on the bottom. Take the brass catcher off and pull the round out. I know what you're thinking. Let's get another toy. All right, let's go ahead and load it up. Got another Glock. This one, this one uses a Glock magazine like the rest of them. Very popular option. Ah, let's see what the uh, delayed blowback feels like here. Six on the target on the left. Hmm. Hmm. Kind of like that one. Yeah, that was pretty easy to make that one sing. Let's go across, two, two, and two, left to right. Here we go. I was thinking instead of shooting. <laughs> that wasn't fair. Let me do that again. Don't think, just shoot. Ah, do it again. There we go. Different feeling trigger, so. A little bit different reset. It races pretty good. Let's go down range and tickle those plate rack there. Let's make him sing a little bit. Here we go, left to right. 
Yeah, yeah, so what do you think? You're the, you're the witness here, you get to critique it, so keep your eye on the ball. Here we go, let's get another one. All right guys, the last one on the table is a SIG MPX. It's the only gas operated firearm on the table of the six. So it's got a totally different approach to how to make a nine millimeter PCC work. It has a folding stock and ambidextrous controls on the boat release and the mag release. Didn't come with a compensator. It has a left-handed thread on the cop on the barrel here. Put a vortex red dot on it. It's got double. Uh, it's got universal, or should I say, ambidextrous safeties. Comes with their match trigger, straight face trigger on this one. So. Uh, this is a gas operated gun. I'm kind of interested to see what it feels like. 30 round mag. It's a double column mag with a double feed. Let's go ahead and ram it home here and this is new out of the box. Let's take six rounds on the target on the left. See what it feels like. Here we go. Okay. What do you think guys? <laughs> Let's do that again. Six on the left. All right, what are you seeing? Let's go left to right, two, two, and two. Here we go. <laughs> Nothing to it. We still got six rounds left. Let's shoot the plate rack. All right, here we go, left to right. <laughs> yeah, pretty easy. So, the only gas operated gun in a bunch. And uh, let's go ahead and flag it. So what do you think, guys? That was six different carbines. You had a chance to see the little bit of evaluation we did here. Just all fun on the range. And uh, what can you say? You got six toys on the, on the range. It's all a fun day. Get some.